Hey guys, have the spring cleaning bug hit you yet? Oh, it came in on me like the wind. I've been decluttering, deep cleaning, micromanaging our guest bathroom renovation, and of course running my RB channel at Glamping with the Coopers. Whew. Which, by the way, if you're new or just stopping in to say, hey, Otis and I bought a Class A RV and we are loving it. I'll leave a link in my description to our second channel if you are interested. And with that being said, we are going to be traveling a lot this year and I just wanted to get my house into shape. You know where when I come back, I don't have to worry about doing any of this when we get back from our weekend excursions. This bathroom, you guys have seen this bathroom a gazillion times. The problem with this bathroom is that there was a leak. There was a leak in the corner over here. And from the last reno, uh, it wasn't level. And water was leaking into the guest bedroom. Now behind this wall is the guest bedroom closet. And then the room is in there, of course. But I noticed it one day when I was cleaning the baseboards. And there was like a huge brown spot in the corner. I'm like, oh my god. So it was like, you know, a leak that happened over time. So that's where we're at right now as far as getting that done. Frank ripped everything out. You guys remember there was a tub here. Um, and this time he's going to, let me just kind of turn the camera. This time he's going to be putting a concrete floor, which I'm excited about because I was never a fan of like a non-man-made Shower paint, I just, I don't know. But the color is definitely going to be changing to, I'm not sure, but I, I know I'm going to be doing something on the ceiling. My ceiling is knockdown popcorn, uh, which is, I don't know, I want to maybe do wallpaper. I'm, I'm not sure, but we'll see. And everything is, you know, it's coming together, I guess. I can't wait till it's over, but I just wanted to give you guys an update on what's going on. I've been super busy with the RV. <laughs> um, and if you guys aren't following me over on my new channel, Glamping with the Coopers, if you're interested in RVing or camping, head on over there. I've been busy though. We haven't been really traveling because there's been a lot going on, you know, a lot going on in my family and just life. I'm just life in y'all. So. I hope you guys be patient with me and, you know, we'll see how it goes. I am craving inspiration and simplicity in my home this spring, taking a new fresh approach with each space and with a new perspective. Starting with the hardest room in the house, our kitchen, for me the tools for this reset begins with getting rid of all the things that do not serve me at all and I'm not playing this year. Using the right organizers to help me maintain my most used items. This drawer system is from Target and I'm placing my glass cooktop cleaners and similar items inside. The smaller containers I got from Target's Bow Eye and I'm not sure if they're still selling them or not because I got them a while ago and they were only for a dollar for a pack of three and the larger ones were a dollar each. And I like using these because it contains everything keeping your bin from getting messy and cluttered and I like that you can configure it and customize it the way you want. The second drawer I have dish towel microfiber cloths and these cellulose dish towels I love them. They get soft when you wet them. They are very absorbent and easy to store. Another bin is used for my magic erasers and smaller bins are for my floor cleaner packs. The bins are from the container store and I don't know the name and nor do I know if they still sell them. I had them for so long. My habits and my products go hand in hand. You know, habits do evolve. And as you can see, I'm not filling them up with stuff because the space is empty. I'm leaving myself room to grow in case I need to. Y'all know I love me some blue. I purchased these vessels from Home Goods again, and I'm just filling them up with my necessities. Baking soda and dish soap is all about the aesthetics. And of course, blue trash bags. Y'all know I'm extra. I am in the kitchen more than I should be, and that's my argument. So why not have beautiful items and things that you love and make you happy? I shared the same setup a while ago using Dollar Tree pegboards and I love it so much. I use it in my laundry room as well. Again, only using what I need. 
Did you know as we get older, our taste buds begin to shrink and decline in numbers? In addition, the mouth produces less saliva over time. That's probably why I have so many expired spices in our spice cabinet. And it feels so good to get rid of all of these items that were just expired, taking up valuable space, and I could be using this for other things or maybe nothing. Just kidding about that last part. Hmm. I rewarded myself and bought new oil and vinegar dispenser bottles for all of my hard work, of course. This is so perfect for my olive oils, vegetable oils, vinegars, and it's great for cookouts or just using it every day in the kitchen. I use mine almost daily and I absolutely love it. These are designed with and without a drip nozzle for a smooth and drip free pouring. It's easy to clean and easy to refill as you can see with its spacious diameter opening. Just simply pump the required amount of oil into the measuring top and add it to your dish. The corner shelf multi-purpose turntable is from Home Goods. This will definitely make the most of your kitchen. Recently, I upgraded some of my kitchen utensils and knives. Sometimes you just have to do that, especially when you use them a lot like I do. This beautiful set is from Style Settings and I love their entire kitchen accessories. In fact, I love them so much I have several pieces in our RV kitchen and I get compliments on them all the time. I just love gold accessories and I have it in my kitchen. I have touches of it in my bathroom. It just makes everything sparkles. The knife block set is super practical. It has a built-in knife sharpener, which I love, and you can get it in this color or you can get it in black ashwood, which is the color that's at my sticks and bricks home. I also upgraded my kitchen utensil set and if you've been following me for a while, you've seen my McKinsey Child's utensil holder on my countertops since forever. If you have to use kitchen utensils, they should be pretty enough to leave out on your countertops. I also got another set in silicone for my non-stick pans. The cabinet above our wall oven, I gave that a little refresh as well. This is where I stored a lot of my platters, my bakeware here, but I moved some of them and some of them I did donate to family and friends. Now, since purchasing our RV, I needed these bins for meal prepping when we go on trips. It's just a lot easier to prep at home instead of doing it while camping because we are part-time RVers, so I'm, it's not really on our side at the moment. So this is what I choose to do for now. Over on my other channel at Glamping with the Coopers, I posted a video about how I meal prep for our RV using these fabulous storage containers and why I chose them. And I'll leave that link down below. I have a healthy obsession with measuring spoons, but this measuring spoon set is such a game changer for two reasons. One, it's magnetic and everything nests together so it's not all over your drawer. Secondly, it has a leveler, chef's kiss. Uh, this is my favorite. This multifunctional colander set is really a kitchen must-have, especially for an apartment. And it includes a stainless steel khaki colander, a plastic mixing bowl with a non-slip bottom, a center removable lid, and three grater attachments. This colander drains are perfect for washing vegetables, rinsing rice, pasta, preparing, and storing your food. You guys know how I feel about my white sheets and towels. I did not play about them, but I wanted to change things up a little bit this spring with this beautiful set of towels that are from Home Goods. I'll try to link something similar down below, but these